Hey guys, so this video is going to be a little bit different than what I've been doing in the past, just vintage stuff. This is not a vintage uh, video, this is actually a skincare video, but I wanted to make it because I actually just found a product that is so good that if any of you guys are going through the search like I was and nothing is working out, if this would work for you then, because I mean, perfect, perfect product for me. So, I just recently turned 40 a couple months ago, and um, for the last like decade or so, I'm going to be honest, I was not taking good care of my skin. I wasn't necessarily regularly moisturizing. I would go to sleep with makeup on, and I was not using sunscreen every day. And I mean, I was out in the sun a lot. I'd go hiking all day, and I was tanning. I know I'm so pale, it's funny to think that I could tan, but I can actually tan, and I was getting brown every summer. So. I've got a lot of sun damage. I am of like Northern European descent. So I've got like that really dry skin, the easy to wrinkle skin. And now that I turned 40, I went to my dermatologist and I just got my first prescription of Trentinoin. For those of you that don't know what this is, um, kind of like everybody calls cotton swabs Q-tips. <laughs> this is Trentinoin, everybody calls it Retin-A. That's a brand name of Tretinoin. So if you've ever heard of Retin-A, um, not Retinol, that's something that's over the counter, but actual prescription Retin-A, um, that's this, that's Tretinoin. This is just the regular old, no frills, no brand name stuff. So I actually just started this uh, a couple weeks ago. No results yet, it takes months for this to, um, to work. So, but I did just start this, but one of the most important things in doing this is to regularly moisturize your skin and to also make sure that you wear sunblock every single day. So I have been through so many sunblocks now and because I don't necessarily have the time to do makeup all the time from going out, I take the time like when my daughter's napping to actually put on my makeup on, but otherwise I don't, I don't really do that. So I wanted a tinted, sunscreen something I could just put on in the morning and go about my day and know that I look a little bit nicer than this <laughs> I just got out of the shower so this is what I look like when I just get out of the shower and I'm just wearing a little bit of lotion I put my tretinoin on and then I threw some lotion on over that um, I wanted something that would just make me look maybe a little bit better than I normally do than this um, and also because if you get um, SPS 50 sunblock or sunscreen, um, you, if you've ever tried them before, you're either greasy or they make you like white, whitewashed. Like it looks like you just drew on yourself with chalk. So the tinted ones are generally much better for that. They, um, they don't turn you white. Uh, <laughs> they turn you whatever color the tint is. So I wanted to find something that was like that. So I went through in the last month, I went through four different tinted sunscreens. So um, this week I'm going to every day do a different one, film it so you guys can see what it looks like on and I with my grand finale will show you the best thing that I've ever found. Um, so little disclaimer on this though, um, all of these except for one product only comes in what's called tinted. So unless you are uber pale like me, this isn't, this isn't great. I don't know why a lot of companies haven't gotten on board with giving a variety of colors because we are a variety of colors. Not everybody's as pale as me. I mean, granted, a lot of people that are pale like me tend to be the ones that are much more likely to wear sunscreen, but it's important for everybody to take care of their skin. So, um, except for one brand, this is for very, very pale skin people like me. Um, I know that there are other companies out there that thankfully make a variety of colors for different skin tones, but um, most of the ones that I got were just, they're called tinted, and I am the color that they are apparently selling these things to. So I just want to give you um, a little quick how I'm going to be doing this so that you can see. Um, every single night, I wash my face, I put on my Tretinoin. And then I use this Cerafew. It is the PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion in Ultra Lightweight. I love this stuff. It, it is really, really lightweight. I put that on and then this is, you know, earlier in the night I do all of this. And then right before I go to bed, I put on my heavy duty stuff. This is the heavy duty stuff. This is 
Shikai Barrage Therapy Dry Skin Lotion. It is unscented. It has its own little scent just because it's all natural ingredients and they don't do anything to mask it. I don't mind the smell, but it's a very kind of earthy smell. So. so this, it's very thick. I wouldn't want to use this and then try to put makeup on over this because it would. there's no way it would stick. This is um, just for moisturizing and it's great for moisturizing. Um, if you have dry skin or if you're about to start using the Tretinoin because that stuff is very, very drying, I'd recommend picking up something like this. I've been using this stuff for years because I've always had dry skin, so I love this. So that's what I do at night. Then in the morning, um, I wash my face just with water. I really just, you know, get the sleepies out of my eyes and make sure that there's no extra of this stuff that didn't come off on the pillow or whatnot. And then I do the CeraVe PM again. There is nothing in this that um, is like a retinol or anything that you have to worry about that you're you know, putting on the skin that you can't go in the sun with. It's just got some like niacinamides and stuff like that. So it's, it's good for skin. And I find that this is my favorite. I've used a lot of different um, like day creams and lotions and stuff like that. I find that they are either too thick or they're not moisturizing enough. And this is like the perfect balance. Since it, it is ultra lightweight, it goes on and it just absorbs in and then we're good. So I'm going to be doing this for all of my uh, showing you of what the sun, sun, the tinted sunblocks look like because this is what my, this is what it looks like. So without further ado, I'm going to uh, get into that and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning ladies. So here's day one. So I just washed my face. I put on my CeraVe and then today I am going to be doing, this was my old favorite and it's also the most expensive of the bunch. This one is HelioCare 360 Fluid Cream. Okay, so this is SPS 50 plus, uh, very high protection and I just put it on. So I'm not sure if you can see in this lighting, it is quite shiny right now. It definitely gets matter as time goes on. So I'm going to check back again in like 15, 20 minutes so you can see how it's toned down a bit. Um, so this one, I'm gonna squeeze a little out for you guys so you can see. It's quite watery and quite light, but it's also very, very sheer. And it's so lightweight um, and it's quite nice. It does not settle into my wrinkles or my pores. Um, and honestly, up until recently, I thought that this was like it. I was so excited. But since I started doing the, um, the Tretinoin, this is a, uh, partially anyway, a chemical sunblock. So now it stings. Um, I have it on right now. It definitely helps that I put the CeraVe on first because I didn't always do that. I used to just put this directly onto the skin because it's such a pretty, you can see them just rub it in. It's such a nice, pretty, lightweight thing that I would just put it right on. But with the Tretinoin, it would burn. So I decided to start looking for more um, mineral-based sunscreens. But if you guys are looking for something really nice, really lightweight, um, doesn't, I don't think it has a scent added to it. I don't have the box anymore, but it has a slight smell, which dissipates within a couple of minutes. I am very, very scent sensitive. So, um, most products that you're always going to see me testing out or talking about are going to be unscented or light scent or, or I'll be complaining about it. Um, this one, everything I'm showing you also, I, can, I got from Amazon. This one I got for, this one's 28 bucks for 50 milliliters. So it's, a little bit does go a long way. And like I said, it's quite watery and sheer. You can see it, it blended right in with the skin. Um, and this was my favorite one, but now that it hurts, <laughs> I got another one. 
But again, if you guys aren't using Tretinoin and you're looking for something, I would recommend this, other than the fact that it's quite expensive. So I will check back in a few minutes to show you how it does definitely after like 15, 20 minutes, this shine that I have right now goes away. Um, I'm not wearing any makeup at all right now, so this is what it looks like right out of the gate. Okay, so here we are 15 minutes later. Um, you can still see just a touch of shine still. Um, like I said before, I did put this on immediately over some lotion, so you know, it didn't 100% get rid of the shine. Um, this isn't advertised as a mattifying uh, sunscreen though, so. Um, but what I really like about this sunscreen, well number one, 15 minutes later, any of the pain that I was having before, that little bit of burning and stinging is gone, which is good. I do plan on continuing to use this one um, until it's done. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, replace it when I'm done since I found something better, which we're going to get to. But um, one thing I love about this one is it plays well basically with all makeups um, or any of the makeups that I have. If I put a primer on and then I put a foundation on, it's great. It doesn't get like um, balled up like some of my other ones that I'm about to do in the next few days. Like they do not play well with anything. If you put on any kind of lotion or any kind of makeup, even a, a powder over it, it looks awful. But with this stuff, it does well with just powder. So on a day like today, if I just wanted to get rid of that last little bit of shine, I might just do like a translucent powder over it just to get rid of that and it will be fine. It does not settle into my wrinkles or my pores. It just looks very natural. Um, and like I said, if I wanted to go heavy makeup over it, um, cover up everything, I can use foundations and then a powder over it and it never has any problem. So. This is a really good sunscreen. If anyone's looking for one, something that's lightweight and you don't mind spending 30 bucks for a sunscreen, which actually in the grand scheme of things is not that expensive <laughs> um, for the size that you get. It, you know, it does go a long way. So that was it for day one and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, day two. So today I am using Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream in Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So, I got this one also from Amazon. It was about $20 for uh, 1.18 fluid ounces or 35 milliliters. So the one that I reviewed yesterday, I believe was like 50 milliliters. So this, you know, they're actually pretty comparable in price. So, I don't know if you can even, I hope it's coming out on camera. So this, Bare Minerals is a makeup company. So this is much more of a makeup than the other one, which was just a tinted sunscreen. So the color that I'm using is Buttercream 03. And the one thing I will say though, for the Bare Minerals, is you have a very wide selection of colors to choose from. So you don't have to just be pale like me. If you've got tan skin or brown skin or any shade under the, uh, the rainbow, you're gonna find a makeup that works for you, which is good. Um, now this one, I believe, is my least favorite of the bunch. Um, it, it goes on so thick and it does not blend well over your eyebrows or into the hairline. And in fact, as I started to try to rub it more into the hairline, I don't know if this is coming out. I think it was on this side. I, yeah, I think it was on this side. It's starting to like pill up and leave like chunks. And this was me just literally trying to blend. Um, it completely maximizes, I would say, my wrinkles. It is not flattering on my skin type. I have very dry, mature skin. You can see I definitely have some fine lines and some not so fine lines. And um, this just settles right on in. So again, I washed my face and then I put on my CeraVe just as a, a base and just to hydrate. And then I put this on. Um, I've never tried doing like a primer first because this is more of a makeup so maybe that would make a difference but to me um, I needed a product because I hang out with a toddler all day long I'm putting on sunscreen um, to head out the door and go 
to the zoo or play at the park or, or whatnot. So I don't necessarily want a multi-step routine every day. When I put makeup on a lot when I'm going out with friends or I'm doing something, I'm gonna see more people. Um, but just as a general everyday thing, I put lotion on and then I want a tinted sunscreen. That's all I want. So this is not that. Um, if you are looking for a much more heavy coverage sunblock, sunscreen, I don't know what this one, I, I don't know what the difference is. I'm sorry, but I don't. Um, if you want a much more full coverage one, something that's nice and thick, let me show you what this looks like. So yesterday, as you remember, came out watery. This comes out very thick, like it stands up. And it is a heavy duty makeup. So if you need something that's a little bit more full coverage, this might be the product for you. But you're gonna have to play around with this. You're not gonna be able to do the same routine that I do. It might not work out with the lotions that you're using. You might need to just use this as is. And since it says that it's a hydrating cream, maybe this is all you use. Maybe you have to put a primer on first. Um, and I will say that I tried to put makeup on over this because it, it's still a little bit shiny. So, um, and by makeup, I this has enough coverage. I was not putting a foundation on. I was trying to just put a powder on over it just to take the shine down. I looked like the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> My skin looked so bad, like so wrinkly and just so dry and this was not for me. If you don't mind a little bit of a shine, because I mean, I, I don't, um, then this might be a good product for you. But if you have any kind of skin like mine where you need to either put lotion on first or you want to put some powder on over it, this might not be the product for you. So this was Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. And I mean, <sighs> you saw that was not a huge glop that I put in. And I mean, it's, it's, definitely a full coverage one so all right so I'm actually gonna go wash this off now <laughs> so maybe I'll do the next one hey guys all right so same day uh, I needed to wash that off so I figured let me just put the next one on so this one is also not my favorite but I like it a lot more than the one I just took off now when I went into the bathroom to wash my face, it actually, in the darker light, I didn't have the bright lights on. It looks really good, my skin looked pretty flawless, but I remember when I, in the light, it just looked like kind of cakey makeup, and then yeah, all along, along my hairline, it just does not blend in well. So, this one, this is Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. Um, I'm wearing color Fair to Light 20. It is a moisturizing retinol treatment with sunscreen, broad spectrum, SPF 20, and it says evens tone. Um, okay, so I just pulled it up. I also got this one on Amazon. Now this is um, 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce, and it was $9. So I actually remember why specifically I bought this one. It was right after I bought the one that I had done on the first day, that um, Helio, that one, was like $30 and I'm like I really like the way it, it looks but I don't necessarily need to use something so expensive every single day so let me find something else also oh excuse me <laughs> also that Helio um, is supposed to be anti-aging so I wanted to find a more inexpensive sunscreen that was also anti-aging and this one is called the anti-aging perfector um, so I figured I would get this one so it's not bad um, it blends in well. It's a good color for my skin. This one's fair to light. Um, when I just pulled it up, that's the only one there, but I bet this one comes in different colors too. I don't know how much it varies. If it's fair to light, there could be like a medium and then maybe a dark. I don't know if they do the full gamut. Unfortunately, not a lot of companies that I'm aware of anyway do that. So this one, now that I have it on, I can remember exactly what it is and why I haven't used this one in a little while. This one is also, what is it? It says it's a sunscreen, so maybe that's the difference. This is a chemical sunscreen, so it's burning me a little bit right now. Not to the point where I need to rush in and wash it off. Um, and it usually stops tingling and burning within 15, 20 minutes, and then I forget about it and I go about my day. Um, now that I'm using the uh, Retin-A product, the Tretinoin, 
um, I feel that burning, stinging a lot more. I always felt it in the past, but since I, again, I am putting it on over a lotion, it's not that pronounced, but now it feels like it's that pronounced again because of the tretinoin. And so, um, and this one is also only SPF uh, 20. And I like to use at least 30 on my face. Um, 50 is better, but I will, I will use 30 depending on the product. So um, if you look, I'm a little shiny, but it's already, it doesn't feel tacky. Um, this one works very well with just a light wash of powder over it. It did not play well with my foundations. So this one is not a bad product and especially for the price and I did, you know, like I said, I liked it a little bit more before, um, but now it's burning a little bit more because I was actually thinking that this one I might go back to using in the winter time when it's not quite so uh, bright out and we don't have so many hours of sunshine that you're going to be out in and I'm not outside in it every day. But because this is starting to burn again a little bit because of the trend now, and um, I think I might be retiring this one. But you can see, you know, the bottle's not the cleanest because I did actually, I was using this one. And just to show you what this product actually looks like, this is one pump. And that's, I usually use for my entire face and I go down to my neck a little bit because then for the rest of my neck and my upper body and stuff, I'm using a different sunblock. Um, but for my skin tone, this is a really good match. It blends really, really well, and um, I will say, as far as like you know, a, a makeup or a tinted sunscreen goes, I really like this one. If you are also using um, any kind of retinoids on your skin, um, or if you are sensitive to sunscreens, then you might have the same problem that I was having, and that is that it burns a little bit. But actually, it's already stopped. I put this on now, maybe like 10, 15 minutes ago, and I already don't feel it. So I'm probably going to finish the rest of this bottle because you can see hand to hand, it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice product. Still not my holy grail. Tomorrow, I'm gonna show you guys my holy grail. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so today's day, it should be day four, but yesterday I did two in one day, so it's really day three, but Today I'm showing you my holy grail sunblock or sunscreen. What is this? Sun, it says sunscreen. I don't understand the difference between sunscreen and sunblock. I think it's whatever the company feels like calling it. Anyway, so this product goes on super smooth. It actually has like a silicone feel to it when you put it on. Um, it's not greasy at all. Um, I just put it on. There should probably already be very little shine to it. I don't need to put powder over it. I don't need to put any makeup over it. It just looks so super nice on. It does not go into my pores or my wrinkles. It does not accentuate them. I can put makeup on over it and it still looks really, really well. This product so far is the best thing I've ever felt. So without further ado, here we go. So this is Australian Gold Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy Antioxidant Rich UVA, UVB Protection. It's water resistance to 80 minutes. It's a botanical sunscreen. It is not scented. It is tinted and it's SPF, uh, SPF 50, 50. And it's, it's so good. It doesn't burn. Um, it, it just feels so nice putting it on too. This I'm not gonna mind putting on every single day for the rest of my life because I plan on that. I did not take the best care of my skin for years and I'm paying for it now. So moving forward, I'd like to prevent any more really bad damage because of course I'm still gonna age. My wrinkles are gonna get worse. That's part of life. But um, I wanna slow it down as much as possible and I think that this product is going to be in my arsenal for as long as they make it. Unfortunately, every time I fall in love with something, I usually use it for like a year or two and they're like, oh, we reformulated it and then it'll never be the same again. But for now, and I might buy a ton of it. So I also got this on Amazon. Pull it up. It was $11.78, so 12 bucks for three ounces. So not only is this the best product, 
it is also the cheapest per ounce. You can't really beat that. Um, the active ingredients in this one is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So this one is the only like true just mineral sunscreen or sunblock or whatever. Um, so it doesn't burn, it doesn't sting your face when you first put it on. If you guys ever have any trouble with that feeling when you first put it on, I remember putting stuff on when I was younger and that's why I never really used it. It would sting and burn and then itch my face for a long time so I would go wash it off. And I think it was because I was using the chemical sunscreens. I wasn't using the mineral based ones. Um, I'm not sure I knew that there were any difference. And so this one, it's got a ton. This, this, this is the best stuff. Hypoallergenic, oxybenzoin three, uh, free, fragrance free, PABA free, phthalate free, dermatologist tested, pedi pediatrician tested, reef friendly and no animal testing. So, this is the product. So this is the tinted one. And again, when I looked at looked it up, this appeared to be the only color that they make, but they make an untinted one too. So regardless of what shade your skin might be, check out the untinted one, which I actually have in my basket right now that I plan on getting for the rest of my body because I don't necessarily need tinted everywhere. Although I've got lots of freckles I wouldn't mind <laughs> rubbing in. It's cheap enough, but I'm just gonna get this brand because it's just so nice. So this is what it looks like. And it's, a, it's just such a nice, slippery feel. And it, I barely even wrote, you can see it just absorbs in. It's such a nice, for me anyway, such a nice shade, it's such a nice color. It's perfect amount of coverage. I feel that it actually makes my skin look so much better when I put it on. Um, and I, I love that I just put on, I wash my face, I put my CeraVe on, I put this on, and then I'm out the door. I don't need to put any powder on, I don't have to worry about being shiny. Um, I think it makes me look a little bit better. So um, this is my, my thumbs up product. I think that this, if you guys are still on the hunt for something, check it out. It's on Amazon. Again, this is the Australian Gold. I'm gonna put links to everything, of course, um, underneath. So feel free to check out anything that I mentioned. I'll put all my lotions and anything that I mentioned, I'll just put links down below. If you have any questions, ask me questions. <laughs> I'm just hanging out with my kid all day long, so I like answering questions. And um, let me know if you guys like this one. I know this was uh, quite a departure from my vintage stuff, but you know, I, I like to get information out there too because sometimes when you're like on the hunt for something and then you find it through someone else, that's awesome. This one I just so happened to find on my own just for looking up mineral sunscreens because I, I had heard that not only were the sunscreen chemicals getting into people's bloodstreams, but also that's what's burning. That's the chemicals is what's burning my skin. And ever since I started the tretinoin, I'm like, why does it hurt so bad? So then I heard, oh, look up mineral sunscreens. And then I was just like, oh, this one looks good. It's cheap enough to try. It's pretty high rated on Amazon. So let's give it a shot. Had no idea I was gonna go, oh, but, oh. <laughs> All right, guys, so. I'll be back to doing my vintage stuff uh, very soon. I am going away uh, at the end of this week, so I might not be posting another video for a little while just because I'm not gonna have the time to do it because I'm not gonna be home. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying your summer and I will see you in the next one. Bye.